Snape is a coward. Sophie, I'm back with another video. So as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to be reacting to your guys' unpopular Harry Potter opinions. If you guys didn't know, I've got a Discord server called The Bakey House where you guys go crazy on. We just talk all day long. We talk about random stuff. And I made a little section on there where you guys can send me in your unpopular Harry Potter opinions. And let's just say, I feel like a lot of them were just to try and troll me and trigger me into hating Snape and it's uh. Yeah, there's a lot of Snape ones on there and I'm not happy to read them out here, but I am guess I'm gonna do that for this video. If you guys actually wanna join the Discord server, I'll put a link in the description down below. There's over 700 of you on there at the moment. It's, it's crazy. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 200,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you here. Turn on those notifications. If you guys want a part two, let me know because I'm not gonna be able to answer every single unpopular opinion because there was so many of them. So I'm just gonna do as many as I can for this video. And if you want another one, let me know. I'm ready to be triggered. Are you guys ready to be triggered? Please be ready because a lot of these are definitely unpopular and should remain unpopular. And they're unpopular for a reason. If you call out my Snape, I swear. All right, so the first unpopular opinion is Fred and George were overrated. In some ways, yes, 50-50 with that. A lot of people love Fred and George because of their humor. And that's the side they brung to Harry Potter. So that's fair enough. I don't think they're overrated or underrated in any way. I think a lot of people love them. And there's a reason to love them. Draco is overlooked. I don't think anyone overlooks Draco. I think people look at Draco too much, if anything. Snape is a coward. What do you mean? What he was, if you look at him from a certain point of view. Okay, fair enough. Yes, at the start, Snape was a bit of a coward, but I feel like he gained back that. Don't worry about it, Snape. It's just one person's opinion. Draco is the best character. I Okay, he's my second favourite character, but I don't think he's the best character. There, There is better characters. I think Newt deserves better than Tina. Okay, this is a Fantastic Beast one, but I think Newt is just not good with relationships, so it's hard to know what's good for Newt. Obviously, you want the best for him and stuff, but also the person that is loving him, they need a bit back, you know what I mean? So it is hard to like put someone with someone who doesn't give something back. Is that making any sense? Look at me trying to talk about love like I know what it is and I haven't got a cardboard cut out of Snape in my room. Most of the Harry Potter ships are stupid. Yes, I totally agree and I just don't like it. As you can tell by my last video that a lot of you guys seem to enjoy me trying to talk about ships. Luna is the most interesting character. I think Luna is Luna at the end of the day. Uh, there's not much more behind her. She is what she is. So what you see from that character is that. And with me and liking a character, I've got to have some sort of like backstory that you don't see or like something else is behind there. But I think Luna is just straightforward, which is why people love her. But I don't because I want something more there. My brain is so big, I can't speak words. Harry Potter is an attention seeker. Agreed. Dumbledore didn't care much about his students. He wasn't the best headmaster when it came to student safety. Especially if your name was Harry and you were his student and he did not. He actually cared and then didn't care. <laughs> Dumbledore was a mess. That is my unpopular opinion. I hate Neville. That's... I don't see why anyone would hate Neville, but fair enough, it's your opinion. Neville was the bravest. I don't think he was the bravest. He was brave, but not the bravest. Voldemort is worse than Umbridge, and I don't like James Potter. I agree with you with the James Potter. Um, I don't think Voldemort is worse than Umbridge, though. It depends what you mean by worst. Worst hairstyle. The Deathly Hallows are just unnecessary. Yeah. Well, they are necessary because they're there, so you might as well go ahead and try and collect them all like they're Pokemon cards. But they're not necessarily needed in the books, but they are needed if you want to be like the stopper of death, you know what I mean? Snape is right and Hermione is a bit of a know-it-all all, all the time. Yes. I agree with Snape. James and Neville were the worst characters. I don't think Neville's the worst. James, yes. The Dursleys were right to hate Harry. No. Movie Ginny's not that bad, even though I've never read the books, only seen the movies. I think if you've only seen the movies, you would say that because you don't know another Ginny. But once you read the books, I'm pretty sure that opinion will change a bit. I didn't see anything wrong with Ginny when I first watched the movies until I read the books. Harry is overrated. Yeah. But I think it's meant to be like that, right? Harry isn't the main character. I wish. Snape and the Philosopher's Stone. Snape in the Chamber of Secrets. I think Lily should have been better with Snape. Sorry, Sophie. Better. 
Sirius is very overrated. No, I think he's he's a good level of rateness. That's a word. Umbridge may not be liked, but she's one of my favourites because she's so interesting and easy to hate. Yes, when I was doing my tier list of characters, I put her in mid-tier because everyone hates her, but she's a good character in the fact that there's so much going on there. She's a great villain. So I think she is interesting in that way. Obviously, we don't like her. Snape is the worst character and you make him sound better than he is. <laughs> What do you mean? I completely disagree. Dumbledore does not have a good opinion. I think Dumbledore's a mess. Harry Potter is not my favourite book series. Fair enough. I don't read enough to compare it to others, but if you like that paper and pen to that book, to that better than that book, go library for a book with paper and pen in the book, pen, tree. Hufflepuffs are great. Yay, Hufflepuffs. The Golden Trio are way too overrated. Yes, thank you. I don't like the Golden Trio at all. I'm sorry. I'm here to say it. Not my cup of tea. It can be your cup of tea, though. Two sugars. Or three. For a trio. What is wrong with me? Harry Potter is annoying. Yes. Peter Pettigrew was one of the most loyal Death Eaters. Agreed. I wish I had a Peter Pettigrew in my life, like just with me 24 7 got my back i like draco just because tom felton is hot if not i would have hated him i know a lot of people love draco just because of his looks and i was like that at the very start when i was very young i was like oh i like this one but <laughs> but because of the type of character draco is even if he wasn't good looking i would still love him as a character because i love those sort of backstories and stuff like that but i think a lot of people and i think like he's overrated because of his looks a lot of the time but then you know it is what it is snape has always been a coward no how could you possibly say always a coward like in parts he was but how was he always how dare you even say his word always in this sentence snape should have been given a, a redemption yes he should have that's what made him Brilliant. Even though they left out a lot of stuff, I would like to see the Half-Blood Prince movie was still really good. It's a shame. Half-Blood Prince would have been one of my favourite movies. There's so much stuff that is my favourite in there, but also so much stuff I don't like in there. I don't think it's a really good movie. I might do a tier list with the movies and books soon to let you guys know my full opinion, but I... It's the Half-Blood Prince. It's in the title. Like, I should love it, but I don't. McGonagall is the best professor. Wrong. This is the best professor. Dobby should have lived. Hmm. In a way, yes, but the way he went, like, saving Harry was the ultimate way for him to go, and it's just... Oh, I'm just thinking about it now. Stay here with me, Snape, whilst I think about this. All right, guys, there are so many more, but stay still, man. All right, guys, there is so many more. And when I mean there's so many more, like, look at this. Like, there is so many. But I'm going to do a part two if you guys want me to. So let me know by giving a big thumbs up. Go in the comments down below. Make sure you join my Discord server. It's in the description down below as well. Give a big thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 200,000 subscribers. And we're getting closer every single day. So many of you guys join me. And, yeah, I love you all so much. And I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Bye. Oh. You still here? I like you. You're not a muggle. You can watch my latest video by clicking here. You can also click subscribe by clicking here. If you go in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye! Whoa, she disappeared.